Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the summons banner, the top legendary summons for the battle against Limits, Kaioken, Goku, LR and the Furious Last Resort, Vegeta, Giant, Ape, LR. Now I did preview these units, they'll be linked in the top right hand corner where I talk a bit more about them in detail. However, we will quickly go through their details and animations here and discuss whether you should save or summon on this legendary banner. So overall, obviously Goku is a all-out struggle or final trump card category lead of 150%, raises attack and defense on his 12 key and massively raises attack and defense on his 18 key. He also gains key plus 3 and attack of 70% for the rest of the battle if there is a Vegeta enemy. He also has attack and defense of 100%, key plus 7 for 7 turns from the start of battle plus an additional attack and defense of 59% when performing a super attack. He will also gain an additional attack of 59% if it is an ultra super attack and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to strength key spheres. He also has a high chance of performing a critical hit. He has an active skill that greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and stuns the enemy for one turn. And his link skills are Kamehameha, Z Fighters, Over in a Flash, The Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. His categories are pretty good. Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, All Out Struggle, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Battle of Fate, and Saiyan Saga. So he's got a lot of categories on him. Uh, decent links, a lot of key links there, decent link set, obviously getting the ultra super attack is very pivotal with Goku because not only will it massively raise his attack and defense but it will also do huge damage due to his multiplicative buffs. Goku in total has a total attack boost of 336% or 488.6% if he is facing a Vegeta unit. Animations wise, it's got some pretty dope animations, the first ones I mean, they're all really clean. Uh, all of these animations to come out of my looks beautiful. Very much like it's right out of the anime. Super duper awesome. Um, I think it's great. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So, Goku looks really, really solid. Um, very, very interesting unit. I think he's very, very good. Vegeta as well, obviously also a nice looking unit. Inhuman Deeds, Category Lead or Giant A Power Lead. Raises attack for one turn on his 12 key and causes mega colossal damage to all enemies on his ultra super attack. If there is an enemy whose name includes Goku, he will gain key plus 3 in attack of 60% for the rest of the turn. He also has key plus 3 in attack and defense of 100% with an additional attack and defense of 60% when performing a super attack. Plus an additional defense of 60% if it's an ultra super attack. He guards all attacks and also has an additional key plus 3 and attack of 30% within the same turn when guard is activated. So Vegeta has a very interesting passive, it's something I think a lot of people give him a lot of flack for, uh, but overall he has 222% uh, defense boost and 340% defense boost if it's an ultra super attack and 394% attack when guard is active, which is pretty decent. Um, I mean, it looks really, really decent. Uh, then he doesn't raise attack um, or anything on his 18 key. It is an AoE though with a Mega Colossal modifier, so it could be something very interesting. Link-wise, he has Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, over 9,000, Transform, Saiyan Raw, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And in terms of category, he's got a couple more than Goku, uh, mainly including Terrifying Conquerors, Giant Form, Inhuman Deeds, Giant Ape Power, Battle of Fate, Planetary Destruction, and Gifted Warriors, and Space Traveling Warriors. His ape form gives him 5 key per turn, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so for this guy, you definitely want to build him into crit, um, which is more than fine, honestly speaking. And overall, I think Vegeta is pretty damn good. Uh, I've clicked on the wrong one for animations here. Uh, fortunately, it's a very short one. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a look at Vegeta's animations overall, I think, pretty nice. Uh, the 12 key actually looks really, really good. Uh, I like it. It's very smooth. Obviously, Vegeta's very infamous uh, multiple key blast barrage attack. And then his heat wave looks pretty cool. Um, I think it's actually relatively well done. Uh, and I think it's really, really, really good. Um, so, yeah. Overall, I really like both. Um, I think they both look fantastic. Um, I think... 
how they perform, we'll see. But I do think they both look fantastic. And for me, Sand Saga is a very hype moment in the series. Uh, especially Goku vs Vegeta was probably the first super duper hype fight since Goku vs Piccolo in the world tournament. But either way, it was still very, very cool. Now the cool thing about this banner is there are four featured units, uh, two of them being LRs, the LR Angel Vegeta and the LR God Goku. The rest of the banner is also okay. Uh, the Heart Virus Goku is a nice little addition there, but out of the rest of the non-LR cards, I don't find any to be particularly too great. That being said, overall I think it's a pretty cool uh, banner. I think it's got a decent selection of units. There's no tickets or discounts. Um, there are four featured LR units, but for me overall, uh, I think unless you are into Saiyan Saga, I would suggest skipping this banner. Now it does give you yellow coins, which is obviously super helpful, and they've recently added uh, all the current up-to-date units, barring the Goku and Piccolo, onto the banner. So the Goku and Piccolo are not included in the anniversary summon banner, which I think is a bit of a shame. I actually would have made this banner a lot more valuable. Now, with that being said, I do think there is value in picking both of these units up, but, but due to the lack of discounts, uh, the worldwide celebration coming up, the Tanabata banners and that coming in the later half of the year, I would suggest saving your stones. We're going to summon once in honor of the video. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't get a single Goku Black Rift on my main summons, and I get one now. Who's it going to be, Goku or Vegeta? Come on, baby. I want Vegeta. I want that sweet Vegeta. I want Vegeta. I want Vegeta. I want Vegeta. I want Vegeta. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Summon on the banner, boys. It's good luck. No, but... Oh, man. That's a... <laughs> oh, man. That's actually so... That's so good. Okay. That was cool. Yeah, Vegeta's cool. Vegeta's so cool, man. I really like Vegeta. Um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, don't, don't summon on the banner. Um, if you can... Avoid it if you're not into Saiyan Saga, don't summon, save your stones, and rather save them for Worldwide Celebration. I'm one and done, and a very good one. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and bye.